Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amar Kumar Ram, continuing the microfrontier tutorial. Today we will focus on creating host app, but before that, there is an information. I have created this public repo called microfrontier tutorial. The link of this repo you will get in the description of this video. Here we have currently only one branch called master branch which have all the latest code and it will have all the latest code in future as well. With that we will have feature branch also based on our requirements. So today we are going to develop host application. So I have created a branch called host app in our rep. As you can see at the bottom I have created a feature branch called host app from the master branch and now we will develop the host application. For that we will go inside the projects then host app, source, app folder and inside that app.component.html we will remove everything. Now what we are going to build here, here we will develop two links one is home and one is to do. Before that I will write h1 tag this is host application then I'll create an anchor tag with a router link of forward slash and we'll have a name as home we'll create another router link with to do list as a route name and we'll give a link name as to do list. After this, we'll create components that will render on these routes. For that, I'll open the terminal and we'll create the home and to do list component. So let's go inside the workspace called mono workspace and run the command as ng g for generate c for component home component for project host app so it will create a home folder inside source app folder as we can see similarly we will create another component called to do component in the same project that is host app now these two components have been included in app.module.ts automatically by the angular cli one is called home component and second is to do component now we'll focus on the app routing.module.ts file where we will implement the routes for that we'll go inside routes array and then create a path basically an empty path it will redirect to home link and path match property will have a value as full then we'll have another object with a path as home and here we'll render the component home component similarly we'll have another object with path to do hyphen list this is the path that we have given in the HTML as well as we can see here so on the same route we need to render the component that is to do component we'll save this and we'll go to the HTML here we'll give a br tag also here we'll give some space that is nbsp semicolon and one more now we'll save this and run host app over the server. Let's do that. ng s s stands for server and host app hyphen home. Let's see if everything works fine or not. Here we can see that our host application is running fine. Now if I click on the to-do list, it will go to the to-do list, and if I go to the home, it will go to the home but the text is not displaying that is the component text because we have missed the router outlet now here in app component HTML file we'll have a space for router outlet 
where all the data will render based on the route selection. For example, if I am on home, it will render the home component data in the router outlet and if I am on to-do list, it will render the to-do component data in the router outlet. Data means the HTML part. So if I go to the home component, here we'll have an HTML which has homeworks and if I go to the to-do component HTML, here it is to-do works. So both will render in the router outlet section. So let's check over the browser. Here we are on home route. So homeworks is displaying. If I go to the to-do list, to-do works is displaying. So our host application is working fine. But here I need to highlight one thing. Let's go to the project. In app routing module file, we have defined to-do list route will render to-do component. But in future, when we will be ready with MFE app, then we will load the MFE app content on to-do list route because MFE app will return to-do list and that we will render here. For now, we are rendering to-do component which we will remove in coming videos. Here in app routing module file, we are importing home component and to-do component. Also, we are exporting the same file that is app routing module, which gets import in app module.ts file. So as we are importing app routing module, we do not need to import home component and to-do component again, because we are doing this in the app routing module file. So for that, what we need to do, we can create another export as we can export as many as variables from the same file. So we can export a variable which we can say as const and these components are related to the routes. So we can say it as component routes, routing components, whatever is the variable name you want to give. Here I am giving the name as route com array because we are exporting an array which will have all the components that are included in routes. So to do component. Now the same route comp array we can import in app module.ts file. So it is getting exported from this app routing module.ts file. So here we can write route comp array and this route comp array includes these two components that is home component and to do component. So we can remove this and we can remove from declaration array as well. And in this we can have route comp array. Now let's see if everything works fine or not after saving the file. So let's go to the browser. Here if I click on home it says home works and if I click on to do list it says to do works. So it's working perfectly fine and we are not importing the same component in app routing module file and app module file. This is it for this video. Now in the next video we will develop the MFE app. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, be happy. Take care. Signing off.